Hey First Baptist, so this is Amy Fredman and I have a pretty exciting video for you here. Some of the InterVarsity students that you are a part of partnering with wanted to tell you about what God has done in their lives at our Spring Conference Chapter Focus Week. So you should check it out. You're making a difference in their lives and they are thankful. Take a look. Um, chapter Focus Week is where I learned about leadership and how I become a small group leader and witnessing in community. CFW is a chance for students to get off campus, um, to go up to uh, Cedar Campus in Michigan and take tracks where um, it's just leadership training um, and discipleship training. They learn how to read the Bible, how to study the Bible, uh, how to grow as leaders, how to grow in, in community, and as disciples of Christ. It's a good way to really just say goodbye to the school year, but in a way that like brings you to God and like helps you reflect on this past year with God, and it's good. Um, definitely life changing. It's an entire week out in nature and like I feel like being in like God's creation that way forces you to focus on him. CFW is just an amazing week where you get closer to other university people and God. The favorite part of CFW was the silence. Um, woke up silence for three hours. That's where Ashton learned and those prayers that I did during that time got answered through the um, next like two or three years. It was an amazing experience. So this past year was my second year at CFW and I was in a leadership track, I think that's what it was called. Um, but what that meant was I got to be with all of the IV students uh, at Eau Claire who were also in the leadership track. Basically, it was all the leaders because we learned a lot about like, spiritual disciplines, how to be a kid, how to have fun, and like, having fun is a spiritual discipline. And yeah, we talked a lot about like how to handle like stress and struggles. And, like, I learned a lot about how to be a better leader, um, how to um, yeah handle my stress and not give that to somebody else. Taking some time the last day focusing on our wind comes and like praying for each other was really good and really fruitful. Um, God changed my life at CFW in a um, pretty cool way actually. Um, during one of the speakers, um, one night they were speaking, they were asking people to come up and declare themselves as followers of Jesus and um, whether that was for the first time or for reaffirming themselves or doing it in like a public setting they asked people to come up and sign me book of life and I can remember there was um, a hesitation in my heart my heart had never um, been pounding so hard before and I was shaking my boots and I was filled with so many different emotions and there was part of me um, that was still saying that God can never love me. God can never want a person like me in his kingdom. But um, I distinctly remember the song, um, Oh How He Loves Us, started to play. And that was when I felt God pushed me and saying, Corey, it is time to say yes, you are a follower of me. So that was the very first time that I committed myself to Christ. Uh, one important thing I learned at CFW was just how important like, fellowship was and to be close yeah, with other Christians. At CFW, I experienced God um, in two ways, mostly. Um, first, through like quiet time, it's just a chance to enjoy uh, God's creation, um, the lake, the woods. Um, I usually get lost for an hour or two, um, and just enjoying what God made, um, enjoying His glory, His creation. And then the other way is through relationships with others. Um, that I spend time with at CFW. Um, it's always just a time when I can grow in a relationship with them um, and learn about and experience God's love through my love for them and their love for me.